What's up everybody? Good morning, good evening, good day. I don't know what time it is where you're watching this, but for me, it's the morning time and I'm happy to be alive. This is the day that the Lord has made, so I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. My way, I sure I want it my way. My confession set me free, I'll never go away. Yeah, yeah, uh, we going up now. We was all asleep and now we up now. Said he never leaving, now he's stuck around. We're scared to start small. Why are we so scared to start small? I don't know what vision you have. I don't know what dream you have, but there's something that's keeping you from starting. One reason why we're scared to start small is from being overwhelmed. You see where you want to go. You see where you want to be. You know what you want the result to look like, but how do you go from here to there? So it keeps you paralyzed in fear because you know where you want to end up but it's difficult to start today and to wait for the results it's difficult to start today knowing it's not going to look like where it's going so you get overwhelmed because you have this big goal but you don't know how to make it into small goals you have this big goal but you can't think of what can i do today to work towards that goal where well, i'm here to tell you do not fear do not be anxious. Do not worry for nothing. Because if God gives you something, he's going to see it through. If God gives you something, he's going to lead you and direct you step by step, day by day. Make the vision and write it down. Make it plain. What is it that you want to do? Where is it that you want to go? That can be big. Now, what is it that you can do this week that works towards it? Listen. It might just be learning about it. It might just be doing research. If it's a business, research in the market. What is your target market? Who are you aiming to reach? Don't be overwhelmed. I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like to be overwhelmed. I know what it feels like to have so many things that you wanna do, you can't start. Make a decision today. What are you going to do this week to work towards your goal? The second reason we're scared to start small, we don't know what it will look like to other people. It's a baby to us. It means the world to us. It's something that we want to do, you know? It's something that we need faith to step out and do. And so we don't wanna put it out there for somebody else to critique. We don't wanna put it out there for somebody else to judge. I was literally looking at Kamari's pictures when I first had him and he was pale and his features were undeveloped and literally he looks nothing like how he looks now. Like a few things you're like, okay, yes, that's the same, but He's completely different. Somebody could have judged and critiqued however he looks when he came out of me, though he was still cute as a button. But regardless, sometimes mamas wanna protect before they show their baby to the world. We're scared to start small because we don't want somebody to discourage it or discourage us or to talk down on it before it even gets anywhere. But listen, the courage that you need to have to start small, the courage that you need to have to start where you are today is the same courage that you're going to need when it's big. It's the same courage that you're going to need when tens of thousands of people are locked in, when they're engaging, when they're buying your product, when they're subscribing to your channel, when they're listening to your podcast, right? When they're attending your events, you're still going to need that courage. So practice it practice it do it scared do it not knowing how people are going to react do it knowing that there may be critiques there may be somebody that has something to say about it but still go still move next sometimes we're scared to start small because we don't want to be a student right like i have to admit that i'm not a master in this i have to admit that i don't know much about this i know where i want to go i know what i want to do but I'm going to have to learn some stuff. I'm going to have to study some stuff, right? I'm going to have to study some people. I remember, so y'all know her as the Christian Bay, right? But my friend Jazz, I remember we were at school at Old Dominion University, and she started attending King's Daughters events. King's Daughters is my pending nonprofit organization. We aim to connect, serve, and empower women. And so Jazz will attend the events. And one thing about Jazz is she was okay with being a student. She immersed herself in our environment, listened to our talks, took notes, attended our events. She became part of what we were doing. 
and it was okay for her to be a student it was okay for her to learn how this works how to put on an event how to be a speaker how to unite young women together how to have girl talks and girl ni girls nights she got in and immersed herself and it was okay for her to say i don't know how to do this i want to learn how to do this right and that was admirable to me to take the position and the humility of a student to say there's something that i need to learn in this industry there's something i need to learn this person is dominating in this field this person is dominating in this arena what can i learn from them let me take notes and when you start small you have to be okay with doing that and it's so full circle because now i want to grow my youtube channel right and so i just text jazz yesterday how you know did you grow your youtube channel how did you get to where you are now teach me give me some tips right so I have to be okay with being a student. I have to be okay in being immersed in the environment that I want to get to, talking to people who are where I want to be. Even if it's not in the same capacity, even if it's not the same audience, having the humility to take notes and to learn. That's why sometimes we're scared to start small. Another reason we're scared to start small is fear of failure. What if this big business idea does not work? What if I spend all this money, invest all this money, put all of my eggs in this basket and this fails? But you have to understand that failure, right? What is failure? I was listening to a video yesterday and he said, you know, there's really no failure. The only time you fail is when you quit. Everything else is a lesson. Everything else is just a stepping stone in your process. So if you spend too much money this time, you're going to learn how to manage it better next time. If you spend too much money on a product and on your idea this time, next time you'll do a little bit more research to see who you need to target, to see if there is a market for this, to see what your competitors are doing, right? You didn't fail, you learned. You still have to take that risk. God has you. He's going to cover you. He's going to cover your expenses. I can make a list a long list for you guys on all the times where I made mistakes on my journey to success. Those experiences weren't failures, they were stepping stones. So don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid not to move. Be afraid of being a quitter. Be afraid of holding something on the inside of you and never delivering it to the world. That's what you should be afraid of. So when I compare my two fears, I'm more scared to hold back what I have to give to the world. I'm more scared to not share with my gifts with the world, to die and know that there were things that I still could have given. Legacy I still could have left, right? I'm more afraid of that. And so I'm channeling that fear into me moving. I'm channeling that fear into me getting up and doing something, pressing play and getting up here and speaking because I know that's what God has given me to do. We're scared to start small because guess what? We'll actually have to wait on the results that we ultimately want. We'll actually have to commit every single day, get up every single day and do the thing that it is that we want to do to get to where we want to be. But we have to wait on the results. It's not instantaneous. There is setbacks along the way. There is times where you're not going to get it right. You can't look at what everybody else is doing and say, I want that, but not be willing to put in the work. Go listen to my video that I just posted, right? Like, what are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to let go of? What are you willing to do to get the results that you want? But see, you want what they have, but you're not willing to do what they did. They waited, right? They gave it time. They put in the work. They prayed. They had big, big faith. That's what you have to do. And you have to be okay with waiting on God, waiting for the results. God wants to know your heart, right? Are you just in this to make your name big? Are you just in this? for what you can get out of it, for fame and fortune? Or are you truly in this to serve people? And that leads me to my next point. What is your why? We don't wanna start small because we're thinking too much of ourselves. If I only reach one person, I reached one person. I impacted that person, I changed that person's life. What if they're about to commit suicide? What if they're depressed? What if they are going through something that they've never experienced before and they feel like it's about to take them out and listening to my words, it makes them go another day, right? That's the thing, when you had that idea, when it popped into your mind, it was about others. It was about what you were going to offer to the world. It was about how you were going to help people, what you were gonna give, what you were going to create or invent. But when you thought about starting, when you thought about actually taking a step of faith, now all you're thinking about is yourself. 
What if they don't like me? What if they don't accept me? What if they don't put money into this? Now you're fearful. What if I don't have enough? I thought it was about the people. If it's about the people, then you're willing to sacrifice. If it's about the people, then you're, you're willing to take losses for their win. If it's about the people, you're willing to be the voice for at least one person. We get insecure and we get prideful and we hold on to the things that we're supposed to release and deliver because we're scared. But remember, it was never about us. It was never about protecting ourselves. It was about how what we, we could give what we had to the world. See, we keep things small and we say that things aren't a big deal because if we do that, then we can protect it. If I say, oh, it's not a big deal if I grow my YouTube channel, you know, I got my legal career and I got this going on for myself, but you care about it, right? You want to excel in it, right? You want to dominate this arena. You want to be great in this area. Why do something and not want to be great at it? Why start something and not want to complete it? Why reach people and not want to reach more people, have a bigger impact? That's okay. It's okay to have that motivation and that ambition to want to grow. But we allow fear to convince us to make excuses. Well, you know, I don't want to be too greedy. I don't want to be all about me. No, you're saying that, but the truth is you're afraid. You're saying that, but the truth is you don't want to go all in because you want to continue to protect this. You don't want to go all in because you don't want people to see that you're just starting, that you're still small. You don't want them to critique. You don't want to go all in and then people say, oh, look, she went all in. She did all this. She did all that. And she's still not getting the results. She did all this and she's still only there. You're worried about them. But I thought it was about who you're serving. The people who you're serving, they're just going to receive from you. Make it about them. Make your service, your products, your ministry, your business, your brand about who you're serving. And you won't be obsessed with what could go wrong. You won't be obsessed with your haters and people who critique because they're always going to be there. And the bigger you are, the bigger they'll get. And the more you say, the more they'll say. And the more you sell, the more product you sell, the more that you do, the more they'll try to break down what you're building. So allow that to prepare you and allow that to fuel you to go to the next level. We're scared to start small because we don't want to start because we don't want to leave people. It's uncomfortable to leave people. I want to surround myself by people who are where I'm going and also people who want to get to where I am so I can pour back into them what I've learned, right? But we're afraid to leave family. We're afraid to leave comfort zones. What will people think about me if I leave them, if I, if I start being somebody different? A lot of people don't give their lives to Christ because they're afraid what their friends are gonna think. They're gonna think I'm acting new. They're gonna think I'm acting different. And it's so comfortable to stay there. It's so comfortable to just please people by staying comfortable, right? To please people by staying where you are. It's uncomfortable to say, no, I have a voice and I have something that I'm going to say. So I'm gonna get behind this camera and I'm going to say it. And people who know me and know my past and know what I've been through and know the mistakes that I made, they're gonna have stuff to say right they're going to want to be judgmental jesus wasn't accepted in his hometown he couldn't perform miracles in his hometown he had no honor in his hometown you're scared to leave your homies you're scared to leave your hometown because of what you think they're going to say how they're going to respond but meanwhile the people that are suffering the people who are waiting on what you have to offer they're still suffering they're still dying while you're scared to leave those that you're leaving, they're going to be uncomfortable at first. They're going to be mad. They're going to be jealous. But eventually, they're going to say, look, if she can do it, I can do it. If he can do it, I can do it. If he can get out of here, out of my hood, out of where we grew up, through everything that he's been through, I know that I can. And they'll begin to learn from you. They'll begin to take notes. What it is? What is it that you do? If they can humble themselves enough to ask you questions. If they can get real enough with themselves to say that they want what you have. They want to go where you went. They want to step on on faith too. They want to give their life to Christ too. How did you do it? How did you get there? How did you allow God to change your life? There are going to be a few that do that. And now look, you got out and now you're helping other people get free too. But you got to first take that step. I'm not apologizing for what God has given me to offer the world. I'm not going to feel guilty 
about what God has given me to offer the world. I have to use it with my lap, like to my dying breath. Use what he's given you to your dying breath. It will be selfish of you, arrogant of you to keep it to yourself because of all these things that you're afraid of, all those things that I just mentioned. Inspire, encourage, breathe life into people by the things that you do. Don't hold back. I'm not holding back anymore. I'm not holding back anymore. Take a step today. Decide to start small today. It's going to get hard. You're not going to see the results immediately. It's going to take time, but you have to decide to commit. Whatever you set your mind to, commit to it. Decide that through hell or high water, through sickness and death, through whatever, through seasons that happen in my life, you know, things that happen, trials and tribulations, I'm going to commit to this and I'm going to keep getting up here and doing this. I'm going to show up each day. That's when you're going to start to see results. You're going to start to have a real impact because people are going to know they can trust you. They can trust what you're offering to the world. You're not going anywhere. You're here to stay. Here's a quick recap of the points I hit on today. Start that thing today. Don't wait. Even if it's just looking at a video about what you want to do, about your niche, about your industry. Don't wait another day. Don't wait another breath. Start today. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you next time.